as you ever worked before. I mean, obviously it's not easy, but I feel like it's hard for uh, high school players to understand how hard it is to come here and play. How have you seen him sort of grow from uh, even from last year to now? Um, honestly, I don't really get to watch him as much because of our games. But from what I've heard, he's really he's been playing really well. So you wanna you want him to end up coming in here and uh, having a better career than you, a little sibling rivalry? Or? I mean, I was always want him to do better than me. I mean, I feel like any little brother, big bro thing. I feel like if he can come in and do better than me, I'm be proud of him. He does. Um, Lion Day says he has a message every week that he likes to deliver to the team. What, what do you feel like his message is this week? Uh, we got to go out there and be tougher than them. I mean, obviously, they're a good team. We're a good team. It's going to be a good game. But, I mean, the toughest team wins. So, that's really what we've been bringing to you. Well, there's been so much, so much talk about Martinez and the way he can extend plays with his feet. Mm -hmm. What does that mean you know, coming from your spot there on the inside? Uh... Yeah, be better conditioned this week. <laughs> I mean, he's a dynamic player. It's going to be hard to bring down, so it's kind of a big challenge for us as a defensive line. Is there a part of you guys that wants a bigger challenge than what you faced the first four weeks? I mean, we just want to win. I mean, regardless of the challenge or whatever it may be, I mean, at the end of the day, we just want to win. Uh, Haskell said y'all had this game circled since February. Mm -hmm. On the, what's, What is special about this game especially uh, in your mind, Devon? For, for as a early season game, well, early end of season game, this is our biggest test so far. And um, I feel like a lot of people want to see us do well or see what our team is really made out of. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this is going to be a good game for us. And, uh, you know, uh, you were talking about Adrian Martinez. Does that slow y'all down a little bit, the, 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 what he brings to the table, the, uh, the danger of passing in and running? I mean, how does that affect defensive line play from your vantage point? I mean, we got to get there as fast as possible. I feel like that, if anything, speeds us up. I mean, if we let him run around and do whatever he does, then he's going to be able to make plays. Ron, Russ's glory days were probably before you were born. Mm -hmm. how, how much do you know about their history? And, and is that a still a special program in your eyes? Uh, I know they won a lot. I mean, I mean, I was obviously not born when they were as good as they were. So that's kind of all I know. Okay. Uh, you guys have you guys have been stuck in the stat sheet quite a bit of time. I'm wondering what stat is most meaningful to you in telling you whether you've had a successful game or not? Uh, a win. <laughs> 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 no, um, I mean, I really don't really care as much about the stat sheet as long as we're doing well up front. I mean, that's that's what's going to determine the game if we're doing well. So. Okay. How do you... Lucas will sound silly, but if not stats, how do you tell that you've done well? Is it the look that you get from the opponent's eyes? Is it your coach tells you? Is it just some sort of inner sense that you've done well? How do you, how do you judge whether you've been successful? Uh, when we look up and uh, the rushing yardage is down. I mean, if it's anywhere under 100, we're good. <laughs> Ron Haskell was co-defensive player of the game. Mm -hmm. This guy's really gone under the radar um, his whole career. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say about, about him and the way he played? I feel like he's really improved a lot since he's been here. I mean, he obviously had a lot of ups and downs, but um, I feel like this, this year is really his year to really shine. How is he different this year? Um, it's, I feel like he's more focused. I mean, he understands what he's doing more so now, and it's really helping him out. What's, Given what? how, how the depth of your line has, been take, has taken a hit, how important has he been? Um, very important. I mean, obviously, we're going to need everybody who's in our position. Everybody at defense line, we're going to need everybody. And um, for this whole season, and even this next game, I mean, it's just so crucial to have a good rotation. Well, keep people fresh. So I asked ask a similar question that about you haven't played yet with everyone you've got. You know, mm -hmm. Coop hasn't played yet, Tyreek's been in and out, um, Robert's been in and out. So you haven't had everybody. Are yeah. you just naturally curious what you will look like when you have all the weapons, if you will? I mean, there's only one way to go with us up. I mean, for us, when we get everybody together and everybody's healthy, I mean, it's going to be a problem for a lot of teams. I feel like we're playing with them, without them now, and it's making us better, even so, without them. Are you preparing the team preparing this week to not be able to rotate as much as you have just as the tempo they play at? Um, yeah, I mean, we're trying to get more and more conditioned because obviously they're fast. They stretch plays out like uh, Martinez or whatever. And, uh, this is really going to be a big challenge for us. Even though you guys haven't 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We've got Letterman Live, we've got the practice report, we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buck IQ with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State Athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.